Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can add a Gmail account for your work or business domain. Um, you do this by going to Google, you can type in Google Workspace and this is how we're going to create our Gmail account with our own uh, domain on it and we'll use this for our business um, so I need to create one and then what you have to do is you come to Google Workspace you can click on that and once you're in Google provides a suite of products if you want to go over to pricing you can have a look at that um, they have different packages or different plans for your needs whatever you may require and they do have a free trial for about 14 days um, what every plan includes is your Gmail, your G, your G Drive, your Meet, your Calendar, Chat, Jamboard, and then um, doc, um, the, all the software to open all the documents. Um, for us, I'm just going to start with a business starter, which is five dollars uh, per month, and with that we get custom and secure business email. It's, I think it's one. Um, domain or one user and then it, it adds on for every additional user you add after that you can do video meetings you get 30 gigs cloud storage space and um, a whole lot of other functionality so if I just head back and I click on get started Let's add a business name I'll say hotel get ways you can select the number of employees and the region that you are in click on next and then you can fill in your first name I'm just gonna put in hotel and get aways and then my current email address and next does your business have a domain and click on yes I have one that I can use and I'll put that in ways.co.za and then we can click on next email send to hotel get ways that it won't be affected until you set up your email with this account yes that's fine next no thanks no thanks I'll just use info and I'll put in a password over here and click on I'm not a robot and then agree and continue So now it will ask you to log into your admin console. You can just click on next. You can enter that password. And click on next. It's fine. It's just asking me to verify. Just say get a code. And then once the code comes through, you can just add that. It's G dash one oh one two six five. Oh, I don't think it wants the G, so it's just one oh one. 265 and verify and then it's just asking if I'm for your terms and conditions and then you can go ahead and you can either go ahead and skip this and 
Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the four euro or is it the five? I think the dollar is fine for me. Business starter, no long term commitment, pay each month. You can add and remove users as needed. And this is an introductory price available for the first 20 users for the first 12 months only. You can click on next. Once you are happy with that, you can accept that and you can agree. Um, you can add your payment details later. I'll just click on. Continue to set up and once it's accepted your payment details, you can just do that and then you can log into your your new Gmail account. And then that's it. That's basically how you set up your Gmail account for business. Um, welcome to your admin console. You can click on next. And then this is the, the console that it brings you to where you manage your domain. Um, you can protect your domain. Um, create hotel getaway account. You can add new users. And then you can activate it. Say finish. And yeah, that's how you add it. Um, something to, to note is that you can also add your DKIM um, in here to help prevent spoofing. And I think I, I do have a video on that as well. You can just have a look for that. Um, you can also add new users. You can click on new users if you go to your admin. You can, this is the, the dashboard over here, you can just click on manage your users, this is where you can add, delete or edit a user, your billing over here, this is where you can edit your billing information and you'll also need to verify your domain. Um, yeah, if you guys found that helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Cheers, bye.